All right. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Good morning, everybody. Welcome. If you're watching it on the replay, you know what to do. Slide to the right for Apple, from the bottom to the top for Android, and share, 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 share. Sharing is caring, brothers and sisters. Sharing is caring. All right. So we're going to get started in about one more minute. So go ahead and invite all your friends. Go ahead and hit the screen to show some hearts like you see happening right there. All right. Go ahead and do that right now. Go ahead and hit the paradude that's watching. Everybody's watching live. Hit the paradude in the corner. And share it. Share it with your friends on Twitter and Facebook. Brothers and sisters, we are blessed to have some good information that we share with you every morning. Thanks for sharing, Sister Candace. Uh, that we share with you every morning. We're here Monday through Friday, 11. Hey, Denise, welcome back. Uh, 11 a.m. Central Standard Time for about 20 minutes. And we open up for questions if you have any questions. But go ahead and share it right now. Let's double and triple our count within the next 30 seconds. So I need everybody that's watching, everybody that's watching, uh, go ahead and share. Go ahead and share it right now. Give some hearts, give some love. But share it, please share it with your friends as we get started here in 30 seconds or less. Go ahead and share it. Hey, thank you, Sister Denise. Appreciate you. Appreciate you, appreciate you, appreciate you. Good morning there at Meerkat. You can restream at Meerkat so we can get this party started. You know, the worst party to have is a party when there's just a few people there. All right? Periscope and Meerkat, it's a big, big dance floor, brothers and sisters, so... Don't worry about uh, inviting too many people, all right? Well, alaikum salam. Don't worry about inviting too many people. So go ahead and do that right now. Invite all your friends because I know if I was your friend and you were getting this kind of information and you didn't invite me, I would I, I would take that personally. Yes, I would. I would take that personally. You went to a party where they're talking about the money game and how to win. And you didn't invite me to the party? You just kept it all for yourself? All right, so let's go ahead and get started. We got Meerkat turned around. Let's go ahead and turn around. Turn around uh, Periscope. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. If you don't know me, my name is Daryl Muhammad, real estate investor, mentor, coach, entrepreneur, uh, sales and marketing professional, online, offline, traditional sales and marketing. I've uh, been on this path, brothers and sisters, for close to 30 years. Uh, and I'm just here to share with you which I, what I've learned over the years from experience, from education, from knowledge, uh, from my years as a stockbroker, which is very, very uh, uh, honor and privilege that God would bless me to be in the 1% group. The 1% group, only 1% of stockbrokers are quote-unquote minorities, so you know the number of black stockbrokers are even smaller than that. And black male stockbrokers are smaller than that. But I was blessed to get into that little, little slither, if you will, and it was an eye-opening experience. And I just want to share some of that with you guys on these live streams, all right? So welcome, welcome, welcome. Congratulations, you came to uh, the live stream entitled The Money Game. The Money Game, my name is Daryl Muhammad. And uh, here's what we need to do, all right? If you like the message today and you wanna participate in continual conversation, if you're ready to take action, and as I say, put your money where your mouth is, all right, because everything else is cheap, Put your money where your mouth is. Go to DarylMuhammad.net. Get on the list because we're going to start having live webinars, live events where we're going to go more into detail of these concepts and we're going to start, you know, uh, uh, communicating and start connecting one-on-one -on -one there. But this is only for the serious, not the curious, right? Live stream is for the curious. Social media is for the curious. Go here if you're serious and you want to make a change in your life, your family's life but most importantly, our black community, all right? So go here to DarylMuhammad.net. Now, to reach me anywhere on the social media platforms is my name, Daryl Muhammad, Periscope, Twitter. I uh, just recently signed up at Snapchat. Don't know what I'm doing there, but anyway. Uh, and uh, what else? Facebook fan page. 
Facebook fan page. And I understand Facebook will be releasing to everybody here real soon, live streaming. So we'll be live streaming on Facebook as well. But to connect, to ask questions, you can go here. Or you can go to my website, DarylMohammed.net. If you want me to speak to your group, I can come to your city live or we can do something uh, on online uh, through, through technology for your sales group, your sales organization. Uh, if you like my message, then feel free to reach out to me at DarylMohammed.net. Hit contact. Contact me and I can tell you how you can bring me into your city and I can speak to your group for free. All right? For free. Okay. So we only have about 20 minutes. Then we're going to open up for questions. If not, I'll let you go, brothers and sisters. Today, uh, we're talking about a, a very, very, very important component of the money game. I would say it's the most compo important component of the money game. All right? We're talking about the money game, and we're going to put up some more of these, these previous uh, series episodes, if you will, at DarylMohammed.net, where some of them are right now okay but the money game brothers and sisters my objective in this series entitled the money game is to share with you what i've learned that very people very few people know and particularly our community don't know about the money game right what the masses of the people don't know which not taught in institutionalized learning that's not taught in, in the in the uh in the way of mass media or mass education or mass communication. All right, that's what we want to do. I want to share that with you guys uh, right now. Thank you for sharing, uh, Living Chic. I appreciate it. Um, that's what we're talking about right now. We're talking about those inside secrets, if you will, or unknown, uh, uh, you know, information knowledge. So today we're talking about the number one best investment you can make. The number one best investment you can make. Let's go ahead and get some interaction because I'm going to start, I think, next week. I reached out to some of you guys personally and asked you uh, to help me make a decision. And I think what we're going to start next week on next Wednesday, brothers and sisters, we're going we're to reserve next Wednesday and every Wednesday for the Money Game Q&A. The Money Game Q&Answer, where you can ask me questions about uh, anything that we've covered or anything in the area that I've been best to uh, have knowledge in. All right. So that's going to start, God willing, next Wednesday. So make sure you're ready for that. Great. Would like to do a conference or a binary high school scene. OK. Reach out to me, says Denise. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, so that's going to start next week, Q&A, because we need more interaction. I need to hear more from you guys. You guys need to ask more questions. I'm here to help. And how does the teacher, a coach, a trainer know if they're effective if there's no feedback from their audience, right? From their audience, okay? So we want to talk about the number one best investment you can make. Who knows what that is? Go ahead and put in the live stream if you know with the number one best investment you can make in order to win at the money game. All right, we need to know the rules to win and not the rules not to lose. Who knows? Nobody knows. Nobody wants to give a shot at it. All right, absolutely. Good answer, Sister Candace. All right, anybody else? What is the number one best investment you and I can make to win, to help assure we're going to win at the money game? All right, we got one answer from Sister Candace. Anybody over there at Meerkat? Anybody at Meerkat? All right? Okay, while you're thinking about it, let's continue on. Uh, now, in our previous live streams, we talked about four areas. Four areas. Good credit. Get good. What is that, Denise? I guess that's credit. All right? I think Sister Denise was saying get good credit. Yes. Okay, that's a good answer. But I'll tell you what it is here in a minute. So in our previous live streams, brothers and sisters, we covered the four areas that we must get good at, hopefully very good at, in order to win at the money game. Who knows what those four areas are? Four areas that we covered on our previous live stream that you and I have to get real good at in order to win at the money game. All right. So we covered some of what we're going to talk about today. Number one is income. Number two is expense. Number three is debt and credit. And number four is taxes, right? Those are the four areas that we have to understand, we have to get good at 
in order to become a major player in winning at the money game. Okay? Now, once you get good at those things, right, in those areas combined, then what that should do for you and I, it should start freeing up or producing cash flow is what they call it in business. Cash flow. After all your expenses and debt is paid, what you have left over is cash flow. A lot of us think, a lot of us think cash flow is what comes in. That's revenue. Cash flow is what comes out at the end after everything else is covered. All right. So cash flow. So if we do those four areas real good, then we should start having cash flow at the end of the month to save to do what? To start investing. Start investing, brothers and sisters. OK. All right. That's what we have to do. Uh, start investing. Start investing. OK. That's what we have to do. That's the goal. That's the only way we can win at the money game. Because remember, we said the objective of the money game is, right, is to generate enough passive income. You have to know what passive income is. Generate enough passive income to take care of our desired lifestyle, right? It's not based on age. It's based on how quick can you get to that number. It's a number, right? It's a number. So our goal is to, to get real good in those four areas. Those are the four, found, four foundational stones to win. And then once we get good at that, you know you're getting good at that when you start having cash flow. So if you don't have cash flow, then we're not good in those four areas. It might be good in one, two, the most, right? But if we're good in three areas, we should start generating monthly cash flow, monthly surplus. So now we can start saving and looking for investments. Okay? Start looking for investments. That's the only way we generate passive income, enough passive income to replace our current income, right? And also exceed it so we can live the desired life that we need. One thing that I learned, one of the many things that I learned when I was a stockbroker, brothers and sisters, is, is, is very interesting. The way that they have it set up for the masses of the people is to, is to invest their money in a 401k plan, an IRA, so when they retire, that income can supplement the Social Security or vice versa. But it's two incomes together to make one. They also anticipate that your living expenses are going to go down. But what we've noticed here in the last 25 years is just the opposite. That's why you're seeing so many uh, post-retiree age people working because they have to work because that system is broken. That theory does not work, right? All right, that system, hey, how you doing? All right, thank you very much. That system does not work. I've learned that since, as, since being a stockbroker. So, so that's what happens. It has flipped, right? Things has flipped. So, so what happens is you're going to now need more money as you get older because people are living longer, medical expenses are more, cost of living is more. All right, go ahead and share with your friends, brothers and sisters. Everybody's not bringing this kind of content, especially not to the black community. They're not hashtagging black wealth. They're not hashtagging black dollars. They're not hashtagging black enterprise. They're not hashtagging black dollars. They're not doing that. They're putting it out there, but they're not hashtagging. They're not letting the whole world know what they're about. All right? That's specific, but I'm doing it because, brothers and sisters, somebody has to do it. Right? Somebody has to do it. Somebody has to stop. We have to stop being so homogenized, right? <laughs> we want to please everybody. You end up pleasing nobody, including yourself. And that's what has happened to our, our community, economically, socially, right? We, we try to just, like I said, just jump out and be everything to all people and we're being nothing to ourselves and our children, right? So we're going to need more money due to inflation, due to the medical expenses being what they are, people living longer, 
cost of living constantly going up. So we're going to need more money. So we're going to have to take that surplus, that cash flow, and invest it. The sooner, the better. The sooner, the better. So you have to ask yourself, and let me ask you, what investments? What are some of the investments that you and I can invest in that will generate passive income that will support our desired lifestyle in the future? Any ideas? What are some of those? Okay, what are some of those? Because once you have money, now you need to know what to put it in. Right? And that's what happens. So often, brothers and sisters, we go into something, but we don't know the exit strategy, right? It's like real estate, right? I learned in, in my years of real estate study and going back to 1980s, when you buy a piece of property, you buy it with multiple exit strategies already in mind. I got land, I got real estate, somebody said something else, all right? But you have the exit strategy already in mind when you buy your property, when you buy your real estate. So we need to know, okay, I'm saving money, technology, that's a good one. I'm saving money, but unless we know what we're saving it for, have an idea what we're saving it for, then it, then it doesn't have the power that it may need, right? Because if I, if I say, okay, Daryl, I want to do real estate, precious metal, gold, good answer. If I want to do neighborhood farming, good answer. If I want to get into real estate on the commercial side and I'm going to need $100,000, right? Well, that's going to fuel my activity. That's going to fuel what I'm going to do to find out how I can generate $100,000. See, that's going to add a whole lot more purpose and intention than if you only was looking at an investment that requires $5,000. So we have to start looking for things that generate passive income. Passive income, brothers and sisters. Passive income. Now, a person said technology. What does that mean? That's pretty broad, you know. Um... Organic farming. Okay, good answer. Right, so passive income. Now, we're talking about passive income. You have to know the definition of passive income. Passive income is when you do something one time and you get paid over and over and over and over again. Passive or residual income. It's something where the income is not predicated on your active participation on a consistent and daily basis. That's passive or residual income. So if you're farming and you're the one farming, that's not passive income. But if you own a farm and you're not the one farming, you're not the one running the business, you're just an overseer, it's called, right? You're just a term that we have in the stock brokerage uh, industry. Uh, you're an asset manager. You don't do the work. You're just managing the asset. That's passive income. That's passive income. Anything can be passive income, brothers and sisters. Anything. You can own a car dealership and don't and don't sell a car. You own the dealership. You're overseeing that asset of a dealership. Okay? So so understand what passive means. And that's the goal, that's the objective of a financial freedom plan of the money game is to generate as much passive income as you need to live the desire life that you want. Now you guys are giving a lot of good answers. A lot of good answers. Right? But I want to share with you the number one, the number one best investment that you can make. The number one best investment you can make. By far, you know, it's interesting because everybody wants to know specific answers, right? You know, I coach uh, my students in real estate and talk to a lot of people, and they always want specific answers. What is the best? What is the number one? And that's very hard to answer for a lot of reasons. Because what's best for me might not be best for you, but I can guarantee you and I can assure you that this is the number one best investment that you and I can make. You guys gave me some good answers. 
gold, technology, rental property, organic farming, buying, uh, buying, then renting. All right, that's what Denise said. Right? Those are good answers. But those are not the right answer. The right answer is, the right answer is, now somebody write this down in the feed. I don't want you to miss this. It's going to come at you real fast and real quick. And if you blink, you'll miss it. But somebody put this in the feed. The number one, and I would challenge anybody, anybody, the gurus, and then some. The number one best investment for you and I to make to win, to play the money game to win and not playing it not to lose. The number one investment, write this down. It's a hard one. It's tough. It's tougher than any of, of the ones that you've given. The number one investment that you can invest in is you. Is you. That's right, brothers and sisters, you. You, Inc. The number one investment that you and I can make is you. But that's not what most of us are looking for. <laughs> most of us are looking outside of ourselves instead of inside of ourselves. Well, what do you mean, Daryl? That sounds good and that's esoteric. That ain't going to make me no money. But little do you know it will make you money. It will make you money. We have to invest in ourselves first. Why would anybody invest in our idea? Why would anybody invest in our business? Why would anybody invest in what we're doing? Why would anybody believe what we're doing is worth investing in if we don't believe in ourselves? And you know, you know how you do that? You know how you know, how you know that? You know that by how you walk. You know that by how you talk. You know that how you, how you move, what you say. They call it aura, right? They call it confidence, right? Not arrogance. They call it confidence. Extreme is arrogance, right? They call it confidence. So we have to understand you, brothers and sisters, you. You have to invest more in yourself than you do with anything, anything else. But that's not what we've been taught. Hey, attorney, mom. Welcome back. Haven't seen you in a while. All right. We have to understand that, brothers and sisters. We'll spend a whole lot of money going to real estate seminars. We'll spend a whole lot of money about how to make money online. We'll spend a whole lot of money on on things outside of ourselves. But when I tell you, get a book. Well, I don't like to read. I tell you, well, you need to study. Well, you know, is that on audio? <laughs> you know, I like watching videos. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because that's the hardest thing to do is invest in yourself for a lot of reasons. One, one is, be, is because nobody is telling us. That's not a dominant understanding. That's not a dominant thought in our community. Black community I'm talking about. That's why we have to have things called mastermind groups. So you can get together with like-minded people who understand the number one best investment that you and I can make Hands down, it gives you the best re return in good times and bad times. It's a continuous investment. It's in yourself, in you. Now, what's required? Here are the three things that's required. It requires time. It requires money. It re excuse me. It requires energy or spirit. Spirit, brother and sister, spirit. I'm glad you like this, attorney mom. It requires spirit. Your faith in yourself and faith in God. Right? <clears throat> and then that faith will translate into energy. You have to understand time. I'm too busy. If someone says they're too busy, <laughs> then they're too busy. <laughs> I forgot who said it, but one of the founding fathers said it. Right? If a person says they can or says they can't, they are right. It might have been Confucius. I don't know. <clears throat> but if they say they can or say they can't, they're right. So don't argue with people. If they say they can't do it, they're right. They can't do it. Because they've already concluded in their mind that they can't do it. So money. That's, that's the biggest obstacle. 
You are what you think. Yes, you're right. So money, you know, money. And I'll talk, I'm going to come back and talk about money uh, maybe Friday. Friday is, uh, is Freedom Friday. Every Friday we talk about the focus is freedom, money or not. And then Wednesday, starting next Wednesday, brothers and sisters, make sure you come back. Next Wednesday, we're going to start having every Wednesday, the same time, the Money Game Q&A, where you can ask questions about real estate, about technology, about online marketing, about, you know, because I, I, I got knowledge and all that stuff, right? And that I believe and know I can help you with. the. It's all about shortening your learning curve. That's what having a mentor is all about. That's what having somebody taking you underneath their wings. It's to shorten the learning curve, brothers and sisters. We don't have time to go out there and learn everything on our own. That's overrated. Ever since technology, Google, Bing, and Yahoo, that, that on your own stuff is overrated. It takes too long. You and I need to get a mentor, a coach, somebody that we can be authentic with, right? That's somebody we can trust. If it's your wife or your boo or whoever, then you need to find somebody. If not, look in the mirror and be truthful and honest to yourself. We're talking about you are the number one. I'm the number one best investment that I can make in order to win at the money game. You have to invest time. How much time are you, are you spending, brothers and sisters, in investing in yourself? Putting the, the specific knowledge that you need, the specific knowledge that you need to become, right? To become the person that's qualified, that deserves the kind of life that you want. You just don't get it. And I have to agree with, with, with uh, Grant Cardone. Right? He says that we have this entitlement mentality. And that's true. I looked in the mirror and I think, I, you know, I got to admit, <laughs> you know, I think just because I don't drink, don't smoke, don't run the street, don't grandma, don't believe in Christmas, don't believe in Halloween, don't believe in the Easter Bunny, don't believe in the Tooth Fairy, right? Don't call women's B's and H's that I'm entitled to success. And none of that is true. None of that is true. Go to church, go to mosque, pray all the time. None of that's true. Cause why is not how why you know it's not true? Because you have people that don't do any of those things. And they're successful in the in the in the categories that we call success. They have what we want. Right? But they've done one thing better probably than anything else. They've invested in themselves. That's what you and I have to do. We have to invest time. We have to invest energy. Staying up late. Exercising. We have to invest money. Money, 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 brother. So there's no excuse. You can get books on Amazon. Go to DarylMuhammad.net. Click on more book list. And click on one of those books that will take you to my Amazon store. And go get you a book for 2 $3. <laughs> How are we going to have it? What kind of desired lifestyle are we trying to have when we don't want to invest in a book, two, three dollars. Yeah, absolutely. A meditation and exercise. Man is made up of three things, mind, body, and soul. Imbalance in any one of those areas that make you imbalanced in the other areas. A bad kidney puts stress on the heart, puts stress on the liver, right? So we're talking about the money game. We're talking about investing in you. The beautiful thing about investing in you, brothers and sisters, it doesn't take a lot of money. It doesn't take money, even though it does require money. It doesn't take uh, uh, a lot of time, though it requires time. And it doesn't take a lot of energy, but it does require energy of spirit. It does require that. But you can start doing it now. You don't have to wait till you get your credit score up, like we said yesterday, the 720. No, you don't have to wait until you get a, your next promotion. No, <laughs> you don't have to wait until you find a babysitter. No, brothers and sisters, we don't have to wait. That's the beautiful thing. When you invest and I invest in the number one business or number one investment that, that, that we can, which is ourselves. You can start that right now.
There's no more excuses. You start that right now. Go to my website, you got a book list. Right? You can go to other websites and find out about meditation. Other websites find out about exercising. Other websites find out about breathing. We don't, we don't even breathe right. Find out about relationships. You're the number one investment that you can ever make. Because you're the one that makes the difference in the investment. Outside of yourself. You know, I talk to a lot of people about network marketing. And I coach Sister Denise and her organization two times so far. And, and the theme and the thing that I learned in my multiple companies that I've been in over the years in the industry. That people hop from network marketing company to network marketing company chasing opportunities, failing to realize that they are, they are the opportunity. They are the number one investment that they can make. They are the ones that's going to make any opportunity, it doesn't matter what it is, either a success or a failure. And the problem with hopping from company to company Opportunity to opportunity, real estate, then online marketing, then gold and silver, then affiliate programs, and all this other kind of stuff. You know what the problem is and the reason why most of them, if, if any of them work for any, for any of us, for most of us, why it doesn't work? Because we take us with us. We take us to each of those new opportunities. And we haven't made the necessary change. We haven't invested enough long enough to be successful at those different opportunities. Okay, you're in Houston, reach out to me. I'm in Houston too, sister. So reach out to me uh, at DarylMuhammad.net, or uh, Twitter or whatever. Reach out to me, okay? Or you can go to TheSecretsToWholesaling.com TheSecretsToWholesaling.com You can go there and get some information, okay? So brothers and sisters, now you know. If you didn't know, now you know. Take, you take yourself with you, right? <laughs> right, absolutely. See, so that's the, it's just, it's funny, right? You have to laugh to keep from crying. You know, we chase this next, next shiny object. We call it the shiny object syndrome. Oh, let me go over here. They say it's easier to make money. See, we're looking for easy. Easier to make money over here. Easier to make money over there. Easy, easy, easy. But, we're not invested in ourselves. That's the hardest thing to do. And if we can crack that nut, right, we'll be all right. Okay? We're going to go more in depth, brothers and sisters, on the, the live, private webinars that we're going to do. But it's only going to be for those that are serious. Not curious, please. I don't mean no offense. When I'm 51 years old. I don't have a whole lot of years to live. And I just don't have time to deal with looky looks and curious. I'm providing you with this content for the looky looks and the curious and those that just want to uh, infatuate, you know, be infatuated with the idea of money in the money game. For those that you are serious, who are willing to make the sacrifice, sacrifice, yeah, yeah, yeah. God wants to know how much you're willing to sacrifice for your change. You're willing to sacrifice? Then go to DarylMuhammad.net, subscribe, and, uh, and then that way you'll get emails on our live events. We're going to go more in the depth with this. So, that being said, if there's any questions, go ahead real quick in 30 seconds. We'll answer as many questions as we can. Go ahead and put that in the live stream right now. If not, brothers and sisters, thank you so very much for being here. I hope my spirit resonated with yours and yours with mine. And if so, then make sure you subscribe. All right? Because this is not a moment, this is a movement. And we have some serious things to do in our community for those who love our community beyond ourselves and our family. Alright? An open field awaits the wide awake man and woman. So that's what we're talking about. This thing is wide open, brothers and sisters. This thing has been popped open. Right? Like them little glow lights. Been popped open. So I want to go out here and get it. What kind of legacy are you going to leave? What kind of history are you going to leave? Are you going to, and you and I are just going to be a bleep on time, in time? Or are we going to have, you know, some, some legacy to leave behind? People leaving legacies behind, brothers and sisters, while we just trying to pay our bills. People leaving legacies behind while we just fascinate 
and are infatuated with the ideas of the possibilities. Right? So with that being said, as always, thank you for being here. I'll see you at the top, not from the top, because you, your family, but far more important than you and your family. Our black community needs your very best. So until tomorrow, which is what? What's tomorrow? Thursday? What's tomorrow? Friday? What is tomorrow? What's tomorrow, you guys? Tomorrow's what? Thursday? Friday? Yeah, tomorrow's Friday. Okay, so tomorrow's Freedom Friday. So have your mind focused on freedom. All right, brothers and sisters. Thank you very much, Denise. Both of the two Denises. Thank you, No Excuse 10X. That's right, 10X, 10X. All right, and Meerkat, well, thank you guys for being here as always. We've got the same few people. Thank you for being here. It's my pleasure to serve. It's my pleasure to be here. You know, this will go down in record that uh, I'm, I'm trying my best to give. All right, brothers and sisters. So we'll see you tomorrow, God willing, 11 o'clock for Freedom Friday. Take care. God bless.